Um, but I would also suggest that as the focus of network neutrality or open internet or whatever one wishes to call it expands from access networks to application layers, um, it becomes a lot harder to specify ex ante rules that will capture the varied and, and very complex and unpredictable kinds of conduct uh, that could be relevant um, uh, in, 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 in the upstream market. And so some kind of shift towards uh, or, or inclusion, certainly, of more active ex post enforcement in this area will be necessary. That, in turn, raises a colossal jurisdictional problem and, and, and a very big institutional problem. The FCC clearly has opportunity, ha, ha, has authority to regulate telecom networks, last mile networks. They can reclassify them and classify them as they like. They can regulate them, and they can regulate in an ancillary manner issues not strictly within the FCC's purview, but which affect, to some degree, their ability to regulate these things corely with, core within their jurisdiction. So ancillary jurisdiction moving from the network layer to the applications layer is what I would call first derivative ancillary jurisdiction. You'd think this was something that uh, was well in hand for the FCC, but um, anybody who followed, has followed the BitTorrent case and the wonderfully presented argument by the general counsel of the FCC before the DC Circuit very recently that the commission should have this first derivative jurisdiction knows that they're likely to be denied this jurisdiction by, uh, by, by the Court of Appeals. And so ancillary jurisdiction is probably fairly limited for the commission. When you talk about moving farther up into the applications layer and policing anti-competitive conduct between players at different levels or vertically related in the application space, that's second or third derivative ancillary jurisdiction. If they can't get the first derivative ancillary jurisdiction, they got no prayer at the second or third uh, uh, derivative jurisdiction. So we need a policy change. What's that policy change? One possibility, Congress gives the FCC broader ex post policing powers and says we're going to give you antitrust type authority in this space, expand the scope of your jurisdiction so that it's not so ancillary when you go after these companies uh, that, that, that do things that are discriminatory and anti-competitive. The other possibility is for another agency. I <laughs> if anyone's interested, I, I, I have some suggestions. <laughs> um, Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, um, no power uh, grab here, Howard. <laughs> just, just, just a suggestion um, that you know could get involved in protecting consumers and uh, protecting against unfair uh, anti-competitive practices um, in, uh, 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 in these internet markets. So, so, so there are some possibilities. <clears throat> Section five. So, um, <laughs> so sorry, Carl. <laughs> um, but, but I think this, this, this is also a tall order um, uh, and that needs, to be, that, that needs to be carefully thought of.